casual trader or a serious flipper, QuantFrame helps you trade smarter and faster. It also comes with powerful algorithmic trading features. QuantFrame scans Warframe market in real time, searching for underpriced items you can flip for a profit. By following live market trends, it helps you stay ahead and maximize your earnings. To get started, you'll need to register an account on Warframe Market. I won't go into the details here, it's straightforward and there's no need to waste your time. Next, head over to the site and download QuantFrame for your operating system. Install it, log in using your Warframe Market credentials, and you're halfway there. Now comes an important step. Set up your filters. These depend on how much platinum you have, how much time you want to spend trading, and how much profit you expect per trade. Getting these settings right can make all the difference. Let's talk about how to correctly set up your filters in QuantFrame. Step one, go to settings, then live trading, then item settings. Here you'll find three main tabs, general settings, wanna buy settings, and wanna sell settings. Let's go through them one by one. First, general settings. There are two important options here, stock mode and trade mode. Stock mode decides what kind of items QuantFrame will track. You can choose items, Riven mods, or both. Personally, I select items only. Riven mods have very unstable prices, which can be great for flipping, but they usually sell slowly, so your platinum gets stuck in inventory for too long. I'd rather have that platinum free and moving across trades to make better long-term profit. Next, trade mode. This determines how the bot will trade. You can choose to buy only, sell only, or both at the same time. I always select both. That way I can buy cheap items and automatically sell them for more. That's the whole point of market flipping. Also, I keep all the check boxes at the bottom enabled for full automation. Now let's go over wanna buy settings. This is one of the most important parts of the entire setup. Let's break down each field. First, volume threshold. This sets the minimum number of daily trades needed before QuantFrame places a buy order. I recommend setting this somewhere between eight and 15. If the number is too low, the bot will place orders on items that don't sell often. You'll end up with dead inventory. If it's too high, it will filter out too many items and you won't be flipping enough. That means fewer profits and less efficiency. Next, profit range threshold. This is the minimum profit window required to place a buy order. The higher the number, the more profit per trade. But again, if it's too high, you'll filter out too many items. If it's too low, you'll end up flipping for small profits. I recommend staying between 10 and 20. Personally, I use 15. Not good, not terrible. Next is average price. This sets the maximum price of an item you want to buy. Set this based on how much platinum you're willing to use. I personally set this to 2000 because I have enough platinum to not worry about it. Minimum profit margin. Set the same value as you used for profit range threshold. This keeps the buy logic consistent. Now, price shift threshold. Leave this at minus one. Seriously, do not change it. It's not worth messing up your setup. Next, trading tax cap. This is the max number of credits you're willing to spend for a trade. Some items, like prime mods, cost up to 1 million credits to trade. If you have a lot of credits, set it to 1 million. If you don't want to farm credits just for trading, set it lower. I use 500,000 because I don't like running out of credits. Quantity of goods. This is how many units you want to buy per buy order. I leave this at one because most people don't sell multiple copies of the same item. Before we move on, if this video is helping you out, drop a like, hit subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss more Warframe trading tips. Now, let's go over want to sell settings. This is where you set up your filters for selling. First, minimal profit. This defines how much platinum you want to make before selling an item. I set this slightly below the minimum profit margin from buy settings. So if my buy margin is 15, I'll set sell to 13. That way, I don't wait forever for the market to move back up. I can flip items faster and keep things moving. Next, minimum SMA. That stands for smooth moving average. This is a trend-based filter. It stops you from selling too far below the current price average. For example, if the SMA is 100 and you set min SMA to 3, the bot won't sell items below 97. Recommended range 
is 2 to 3. I use 3 for a wider margin and quicker flipping. And that's it. Now you know how to properly configure quant frame filters for smart auto trading and market flipping in Warframe. If this helped you, hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your favorite flipping.